Hi, welcome to In the Studio with Kate. It's week 21. I took a couple weeks off um, due to my trip to Oaxaca, Mexico for a fearless painting retreat, which was amazing. And I'll share a little bit about that today. A um, couple things first is I wanted to talk about the great Mexican paint. If you've seen any of Connie Solero's videos, she talks about this paint a lot. It's really, really inexpensive. I came home with 20 bottles of it. Sounds like a lot, but when you start deciding which colors to get, there were some that I didn't get, which I would have liked to have, but you know, you can only take so much in your luggage. Um, one of the other things that I got that was kind of fun is this journal with Frida on it. It had this lacing on it, which made it really tight and hard to use. So I took the lacing off, put um, um, the, bind, the binder rings on it. It just has, it has a fairly nice sketch paper in it, but a really nice picture of Frida. I really like this black and white one, so that's the one I chose. They had all sorts of different kinds there. Um, let's see, what else? And I've been getting ready, this week in the studio, I have been getting ready for 12T, which is a class that I took last year. And I won um, a spot in it for the second session. The second session is turning out to be very different from the first one, which is pretty cool. And one of the things that we did, I wanted to share, which is kind of cool, is we're making this color wheel journal light. And the way it's gonna work is, it's gonna go like, this and we'll start with yellow and then move into yellow green and after yellow green it will be green um, so it just goes to the whole color wheel that way and we'll be collaging on top of these little quarter moons it is actually the um, first quarter moon tonight or today so it's kind of cool that that's what this is even though it's a quarter moon it looks like a half moon but that's what it's called um this week i also launched my class the moon rnu um which is going to start next month i'll leave a link at the bottom of the video so that if you haven't heard about it and would like to go check it out you can i'm doing a giveaway uh, one spot in the class on my birthday next Tuesday. So uh, if you'd like a chance at that, you'll need to um, actually enter that drawing and the link will be, be given as well. So I'm trying to look at my list, see what else I wanted to talk about. Um, a little bit more about being in Oaxaca. Oh wait, I wanna show this one first. This is. When I was painting all those little things for that color journal, I was painting them on jelly paper, and I just thought, this looks so cool. I'm going to use this in a collage somehow. Yeah, I thought it looked really neat. We took uh, a journal, and I had one day that I got to actually use it and draw some pictures of what my viewpoint was. This I was sitting in the studio, um, and so I've got pictures of the wall and the greenery of the studio. And then this is a picture of my friend Joan working on her piece. So it's kind of fun to do a little, little vignette of that. One of the other things we did is we went to this, um, and I started on another page, but I haven't done much with it. That was one of the Lisa's dogs that I really liked, really liked your dogs. Um, Lisa Sonora was the, it was her art, her, her art studio that we were staying at. But one of the things that we did when we were in Mexico, we went to this village where they actually use, um, natural pigments to paint the uh, articles that they carve out of wood. And so we got to see what, how he, the man mixed the, the pigments together to make the color. And then he put all the, he put a, a little, thumbprint like of color into our journals for us so i've got a record of this forever so it just shows some of the natural pigments that they were making 
you know, this is indigo. I think that is cochineal. What's the red one? Limestone. And if, I, don't, I can't even read my writing, which is, is that's kind of sad. Or they were pomegranate, or they were the global tree. Um, or sometimes they added charcoal to it, and then they got this color. So it's really kind of fun. Uh, so I thought I'd share that with you guys as well. Um, and then I actually made 10 paintings. So two of them weren't totally complete, but um, eight of them were finished, I think. So I thought I would share some of them with you. I was trying to paint the colors of Mexico. So you'll see a lot of my colors look just like that. Uh, when I went walking in the streets, I got inspiration with the color. This is a goddess figure. It's a goddess figure. I painted several things on the ancestor theme, and this I kind of saw as my grandmother, and then I turned her into the grandmother tree. So she has branches she's growing out of. A lot of patterning. I really liked the way she turned out. Let's see if I can find the other ancestor page. Okay. And there was this one. And when you see, you can see all these beings, and they're kind of looking down here, and I'm kind of seeing that this pod-like thing and this kind of smoky look is me coming to life. So that was pretty cool, all those little groups of people that are part of my heritage. This one was very interesting. I kind of saw the swirling as a vortex coming out from it. Uh, the bird image, image, uh, bird woman was kind of cool. And then the horse showed up. And in the case of the horse, um, I realized that I was born under the year of the horse, according to the Chinese zodiac. So that was kind of neat. This one is a memory. So we saw this wall and the cactus. But the dogs were on the other side of the wall, okay? And some sirens went by and they started howling like a couple of wolves. And so it was really cute. So I wanted to do a picture of that to remember that by. And then this one is kind of representative of a lot of the architecture that I saw in Mexico. A lot of arches, a lot of amazing doorways. So this um, was a representation of that. And then the last one I'm going to show you is, I don't think you can go to Oaxaca without meeting Our Lady of Guadalupe. <laughs> so this was my version of her, and she's holding a big red heart. And um, I like the way she turned out. She very has a very touching, sweet face upon her. So I felt like I needed to paint her to bring her home. And my two other pieces I will show you when they are finished. I have them taped to my wall. I have, I have cardboard um, mounted on a wall and then I put paintings on the cardboard. So, um, but those are the paintings that I actually came away with. Um, in Oaxaca, we were supposed to be creating a body of work and I feel like I actually did that. Um, it was really neat to see all the pictures together and see how they kind of flowed to one another or talk to each other a little bit. So it was a really a great experience to have um, gone to Mexico and participated in a, a week long painting travel journey that I think is still changing me as, as we speak. I haven't even incorporated, I think, everything that I experienced while I was there. So that's what I'll, that's the, the video for this week. Um, I hope that you are having some opportunity to get into your studio and create something, even if it's small. Um, and if you have something to share, we'd love to hear about it. So please leave 
what you're doing, uh, you know, a little note about what you're doing in the comments. And I will kind of bet you. So um, next week, maybe I'll be able to show a little bit more on um, the other two paintings and maybe talk a little about maybe some stories from Mexico because I have lots of them and some other things I can show that I actually bought while I was there. So till then, happy creating.